didn't anticipate them falling off a cliff like that. Let's look at their top, I don't know, eight to nine, ten guys. Westbrook, we still have to leave him there as of now. Austin Reeves, Taylor Horton Tucker, yeah. LeBron and AD. Mm-hmm. Um, Kendrick Nunn, who didn't play at all last year. Yeah. Lonnie Walker, yeah. Stanley Johnson, yeah. Thomas Bryant, yeah. Juan Toscano Anderson, mm. Damian Jones. Yeah. They might have it's a little a- bit more meat later than they did last year, but I mean, it's but three fifths, <laughs> two fifths of your starting lineup. I don't think start on no hardly any other team, and then Westbrook is the one they've got to unlock and figure out. I mean, he's there, he's getting crapped on, and I understand why, but he's been a great player in this league that sure. it completely fell apart, and I don't know if that's fit, if that's. Style, if that's his locker game, room chemistry, I it, think is you know? an issue with them. But can he find it? I mean, for a player that's been great, I feel like they can be good again. Mm-hmm. He doesn't have to be great, but he was awful. No, he needs to be the third best player on that team, though, for which them to would be, be okay. Yeah, if he's your third best player and he's not, like you said, awful, yeah, you're already leaps and bounds better. But it, it's kind of the same thing we were talking about with Fox and Sabonis, right? If one or both of those guys is off the Kings, their depth in the third, yeah. fourth, fifth, sixth guy, it doesn't matter. The Lakers are that times 10, I feel like. Yeah. If LeBron or AD are hurt, it's, dude, it's it's done. Yeah. Like, but, this team is dependent on those guys playing 65-plus games. Yeah, but last year, AD was the guy that was supposed to be the MVP type to let LeBron kind of cruise. Right. Didn't happen. Didn't play. Because AD's always hurt. And we have no reason to believe AD is going to all of a sudden be healthy this year. Right. And that's where, and that's why I just can't get behind the Lakers. I, I don't believe Russell Westbrook is going to get to a point where he has fit into whatever system that Darvin Ham is putting in and is a super productive player as their third best guy. I have no reason to believe AD is going to be healthy for 65 plus games. Quite frankly, I don't have a reason to believe LeBron's going to be healthy for 65 plus games at this point. Mm-hmm. So. That begs the question, right? Yeah. Let's say the Lakers have another season similar to last year. What does LeBron do? Does he stay there just because at this point he's settled down in LA, you know, other business ventures are in LA and it's just like, well, it is the Lakers. I've cemented my legacy. Might as well just get paid and retire in a Laker Jersey. I don't know what, um, else he needs to do to change the legacy talk i mean i think if you're in the jordan camp i i don't know that lebron can unseat him no you can't if you're in the jordan camp that's there's no way if lebron hasn't done it by now like i don't think no oh, lebron got to five and if he gets to six to match jordan then some some are still gonna say yeah but jordan never lost in the finals jordan or, never or lost LeBron the finals. Played more years and all jordan that. didn't do it on three different t- again there's so many yeah. different but i would say the three different teams like honestly if lebron did, like led a fourth team like that's Who's ever done that? No one has done the three teams. This is so dumb, but also hear me out. I've always said this. All right, you really want to like cement your legacy? Go sign in Sacramento and bring right. them to the NBA Finals. Right. Take a team like that, or Charlotte even. Right. Let, let's take Orlando, the whole, Orlando. Orlando. Let's take yeah. the bias out of it with the Kings. Take a franchise that has never won a title and go win them a title. Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Like, imagine him jumping on the bandwagon with the talent they have now. Right. Saying, screw it, I've made my money, let me sign a minimum deal in Minnesota and go play there. Yeah. That, to me, you really want to That's a legacy submit, changer. That's a legacy changer. That's the only thing that could change his legacy at yeah. this point. And, you know, with them being projected, I've seen anywhere from 7th now to, like, missing 11th, 12th in Which the West. Which is possible. Again, Absolutely. with the injuries, they can very well miss again. Um, but yet, you know, we gave in the last segment, Jay, the opening night. There they are against the Warriors. Yep. Christmas. There they are against the Mavs. They've already put out their second game, too. It's the first one against the Clippers. It's the first time in X amount of games that Paul George, Kawhi, AD, and LeBron. It's like, okay. Okay. We're, we're hoping for that, right? It's true. It's game two. You never know. <laughs> of those four players, yeah, any one of those guys could get hurt in game one or in the preseason, for that matter. Kawhi will rest. <laughs> I hope. That the, we're talking about the second game of the year. It's Lakers. It's Clippers. Load management. It's load management. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Um, but they, they continually get love. And it's because of the tradition of the Lakers. But you wouldn't put just a, again, an 11th place team on national TV that much. No. And so it goes back to, is this the Lakers or is it we're getting LeBron on national TV? Yeah. 
I, I, I think that's really what it is. I think because when the Lakers were, you know, pre LeBron post Kobe, yeah. you didn't really see them much on national TV because no. they were a circus. But I liked, I, I, as a fan of LeBron or of him, I like to watch him play. I don't of care course. about the Lakers. I want the Lakers to lose every game. And that's why. So when you see people, why, why, why are the Lakers being spotted here? It's not the Lakers being spotted here, guys. It's LeBron James being mm-hmm. spotted here. That's what we're doing. This has nothing to. If LeBron James, again, were playing for the Charlotte Hornets this season, you'd have Warriors Hornets or you'd have the Hornets in the the first game prior to the Warriors game on the back to back on TNT. You know what I'm saying? It just comes down to the NBA is a star league. It helps that LeBron plays for the Lakers, but it's not the deciding factor. The way the NBA markets its individual stars now. Again, the, the biggest rivalry we saw in the last decade was the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Golden State Warriors. Who really, especially the Warriors, pre twenty tens, Jason, they were they were an irrelevant team for thirty years. Oh yeah, they were outside of a couple spot, you know, playoff teams. They were irrelevant. It doesn't matter. It matters where the stars are at. Mm -hmm. So you can't get too like I can't believe it's the Lakers again. It's where the stars are, friends, because that moves it. That's what gets eyeballs on the league, and and in that same sense, there's a lot of people that hate the Lakers, not just here in Sacramento. Oh, yeah. around the league and it's like i'm enjoying them losing exactly and i have no problem if you want to feature lebron i hope the warriors blow them out by 30 mm-hmm. everyone will everyone will have fun with that the next morning on sports talk radio yeah. right yeah and i think there's it's hard to have full teams that are must watch you there's players like you said the stars that get you to watch these teams and um we'll see when this ultimately all the schedules uh get finalized but the lakers getting the love as they always